Hi everybody, my name is Jim with Fulman Adventure Club and I'm very excited because today we're going to be checking out how long will two 12 volt batteries last with 5 amps of draw. I think 5 amps of draw is a really good round number because um, say for example my RV furnace takes 6 amps of draw when it's running and if you have a really big RV furnace it might take 10 amps so it'll be really easy to work with those numbers. So what we're going to do is we're going to take two 12 volt DECA deep cycle batteries and we're going to put them to the test and run them completely from full to empty twice to see how they react to that and see how they bounce back from a full discharge cycle. As you all know, you're supposed to go to 50% and then recharge. I'll show you that time and then we're also going to be taking it all the way down to dead to simulate an emergency situation where maybe you didn't know or you had to run your furnace all night and you weren't expecting it and you took it all the way down to zero and then we're going to see how they react to that by running the test again after they've been fully charged. Now for those of you that are impatient and you really just want to know the numbers, I'll throw them out there for you real quick. Our first test um, with 5 amps, the battery label said it was going to last 23 hours and it actually made it for the first test, mind you, um, 15 hours and 31 minutes to 50% and 29 hours and 6 minutes to completely dead lights out. Second test, seven hours and 49 minutes to 50%. Second, uh, and then all the way down to dead, 17 hours and 10 minutes, which was a 12 hour difference between the two times, which goes to show that that first initial time you use a battery is always gonna last a little bit longer than uh, after you've been using it a couple of times. And also how quickly you can kind of degrade the time of a battery by running it down to absolutely dead 0%. So for those of you that were impatient and just wanted to know those numbers, that's fine. But now we're going to move on to the testing and I'm going to tell you some other tidbits and tips and things and show you the way that I actually tested this. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so we have the two batteries. Now on the first battery here, you can see it has this label and that's going to tell you uh, the amp hours. A lot of batteries just tell you the amp hours, which I think is fantastic. I hate this method right here. Um, but it says it'll, at 23 amps, it'll run 150 minutes. And that means if you're using 23 amps of power, it will run 150 minutes or about two and a half hours. What we're gonna do to figure this out to get an accurate reading for our experiment is I'm gonna run through this math pretty quick for you because I don't wanna bore you, but basically what I'm gonna do is take 23 amps times it by 150 minutes. That's gonna give me 3,450 minutes. So that's total minutes. You divide that by 60 minutes, which is in an hour. You're gonna end up with 57.5 amp hours at one amp. So at one amp it should last 57 and a half hours. We're going to be drawing five amps, not one. So what we're going to do is take 57.5, divide that by five amps, you get 11.5 uh, hours is how long this should probably run with five amps. But that's just one battery. We're using two, so we're going to double that. 11.5 times two is 20 three hours. That's how long this label says these two batteries should last together. Okay, so that's what they say on the manufacturer label. That's how we figured out our amp hours at five amps draw, 23. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put up this uh, little meter right here and it has a percentage gauge on it. It's from my uh, Go Power Solar. I've disconnected the RV and I've disconnected the solar and I'm going to be using three incandescent light bulbs two LED light bulbs, a 12 volt oscillating fan, and my car stereo with a little uh, display on it. And then, uh, you know, it's got the music playing just at a real low volume, no amplifier. And I can actually adjust the volume of that song that I have on repeat, uh, repeat to kind of dial it in just a little bit. And we're gonna get it right onto five amps. We've got 5.05 amps here on the voltmeter. So you can see that we're right on the money. Now I'm just gonna start the test and take a picture a minute until it's completely dead and I can count up those pictures and tell you exactly how long it lasted. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and turn on all of our devices here. And our batteries are completely charged. Not only are they brand new, never been used, but they've been on a four stage charger for a week just to make sure they're absolutely 100% absorption and float charged to their, their perfect. So they're vintage ready to go. We're gonna start that test in the timer and just start watching that count down. Now when we get to 50% uh, is when we're gonna stop this clock right here. It says 50% and we made it 15 hours and 31 minutes. Now for most of us, that's it, you're done. It's time to recharge your battery bank or else you risk doing damage. Uh, so if you stop now and recharge them, they're gonna last you a really long time. Um, and the 50% should be around 12 volts. Anything lower than that, you're doing some damage to your battery slowly but surely. Um, how accurate this particular meter is, is within a 
point of a vault, so we're just gonna have to trust it on that. Now we're gonna simulate an emergency situation or people that may not know, like me for example, when I first started, um, we're going to take this guy all the way down to dead um, because we're running the furnace and for me that was the number one thing. It was a cold night, you start the furnace at 10 o'clock at night after the generator goes off and it would run until it was dead which completely destroyed those batteries really really fast. So we're going to let that run and it makes it 29 hours and 6 minutes until the lights are off, the stereo's off, the fan's off, everything's off. And for some people that might be when they think the battery's out of juice uh, when in fact they're doing a lot of damage. So. 29 hours, which is really impressive for two 12 volt batteries. That's awesome. But brand new batteries tend to last a lot longer on their first run than they do after you've used them a few times. So now we're going to completely charge these batteries all the way back up using a four stage charger for a week. I'm going to make sure they're hundred percent stable and charged right where they need to be. So now we're going to start the second test. We're going to go ahead and put that up on the board here and start it. And it only makes it seven hours and 49 minutes to 50%, not 15 hours and 30, seven hours and 49 minutes. So that's a pretty large reduction right there, almost half. Um, now we're going to go ahead and take these all the way down to where it's completely dead and we get to 17 hours and 10 minutes. Um, so that's a 12 hour difference from the initial test to the secondary test. And I feel that somewhere a little above the second test is more what you can kind of rely on after you've used the batteries a few times. Say camp trip number four, you're taking it to 50%, you're taking it up. Camp trip number four, I think you're gonna be getting closer to these numbers um, as opposed to the initial test. But I think that's really valuable information to know. And that's why I always tell people, start with two batteries minimum when you get an RV or a camper or whatever two batteries, two 12 volt deep cycles or two six volt deep cycles, however you wanna do it. I always recommend two because one just isn't gonna get you through the night if you need to run the furnace or something. And so with two batteries, eight hours to 50%, even after they've been used a little while, is still pretty good. And you can run it eight hours at night and then charge it in the morning and you're still coming back up from close to 50% and your batteries are gonna last you so much longer than if you're just running one battery to death, killing it all the time. So always go with two batteries is my recommendation. I will put a link down below for these DECA deep cycles because they are really good batteries. Um, I did a lot of testing with them and they performed, they performed pretty well. Um, however, I'm excited because in just a couple days I'm gonna do the same exact test with two six volt batteries in series. These were two 12 volt batteries in parallel. Now we're gonna do the uh, deep cycle six ones uh, in series and I think they're gonna bounce back a little bit better. I kind of like the six volt in series better than the 12 volt parallel, but that test will be coming up soon and then we can compare our numbers and I think that's really cool information. So if this helped, please like, share, subscribe, use my Amazon link for stuff. If you really want to support the channel, you can go to our Patreon page, but that about wraps it up. My name is Jim with Full Moon Adventure Club and until the next video with those six volts, thanks so much for watching and happy camping.